This is Alyssa from Alyssa Hope. And I'm about to watch my penguins take on the Blue Jackets. And you're watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Uh, I do apologize for the lack of videos in the past couple of days. I've, I've been sick again. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I have terrible luck, I guess, but I've, today's the first day that I've been able to, uh, talk without coughing, uh, once in five minutes, so, uh, you're, I'll keep my distance from you. <laughs> uh, not good timing, though, because I had so many videos to film as far as wrapping up each team in the season and also the playoff previews, so, lots to do in the, in the next couple of days. We're going to start with the full bracket prediction. And last year we did this. <laughs> it's one of the only th things I've predicted right on this channel. My west bracket side was almost perfect. The, my east was terrible. I got like every single prediction wrong. Now, before we get into our predictions, I'm just going to say, I don't make these th predictions thinking I'm going to be right. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be wrong on most of them. I do this because it's fun. I have no inside knowledge. I have no, like, I am no more of a hockey person than you are watching. So this, these are just my personal um, selections. They, they have they carry no weight, so <laughs> don't make any... Don't uh, call your bookie. Yeah, don't <laughs> on anything that I'm saying. We just do this for fun because we're yeah. hockey fans, we're amateurs. Uh, we are not professional analysts. So. We're rank amateurs. Uh, I believe you've done pretty much the same. You don't really care. I could care uh, less. Yeah, so yeah. Just, this is just for fun. So <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I don't know what yours are. You don't know what mine is. Don't look. So. Don't look at mine either. Uh, let's start with the West. Okay. First series, Nashville versus Colorado. I'm not going to go into any reasonings as to why I think each team is going to win uh, because I'm going to save that for the videos where we actually talk about each series, which are coming very soon. I'm just going to say who I think is going to win this series. Okay. Are you okay with just keeping it yeah. low key for this? Yeah. I'm okay. If we're going to do the other bracket yeah, yeah. or individual matchups, I'm good. All right. Okay. So. Who are you picking between Nashville and Colorado? I'm picking Nashville in five. Ooh, you're doing in games. Oh, yeah. Okay. As we'll get precise for all that matters. <laughs> I didn't write down games, but uh -huh. uh, I'm saying Nashville in, I think I had five or six. I can't remember, but I I just don't see, like, it would be, it'd be a cool story to, to see great. Colorado do that, but I just don't see Nashville's yeah. too deep, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we actually agree on that one. Uh-huh. Uh, Winnipeg versus Minnesota. I say Winnipeg and six. Ooh, I say Winnipeg and five. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll I have think, to fight it out. I think it was five. Might have been six, too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I just think it's time for Winnipeg to win a playoff. And game. they are hot, hot, hot they right are. now. Very hot. Yeah. Okay, uh, Vegas and uh, Los Angeles. I'm saying Vegas and six. Ooh, I'm saying Vegas also in six. Ooh, we are on the same page here. This is you sure you're not? I haven't not, looked at mine. No, I've, I had them written down. Okay, Anaheim and San Jose. This is the hardest one because Anaheim squeaks in home ice advantage by one point. Yeah, which San is Jose remarkable. has the season series between the two teams. They've they've won on the home and they've won on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to say San Jose, but it's going to go the distance. Seven games? Yep. I'm saying Anaheim in seven games. Boom. Boom. And that, I, It's going to be tough. You can tell that I'm not being biased here. Because yeah, San Jose is my second favorite second team. Second favorite team. So. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, let's, uh, let's move on in the West. Right. So that means that Nashville would play Winnipeg, for, for I guess for both of us. Who, would you, who are you choosing in that series? I'm picking Nashville, but it's going to take the distance for that. I, can, I would have said the exact same thing. Nashville, yeah, and, Nashville seven? and seven. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. And, and when Nashville gets out of that series and makes it to the conference finals, they're going to be bruised. Yeah, uh, absolutely. That's going to be a tough series. Winnipeg is Anybody who plays them Winnipeg. through the grinder. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next series for me, it's it's Vegas versus Anaheim. I'm picking Anaheim to beat Vegas in the second round. Uh, so I have Nashville and Anaheim in the conference finals. In your scenario, you have Vegas versus San Jose. Who are you picking for that? I'm picking San Jose in seven. Okay, okay. So you have yeah. Nashville versus San Jose. I do. Who are you picking in that one? I'm picking Nashville in six. Oh, I have Nashville versus Anaheim. I'm picking Anaheim to beat Nashville. Wow. And one I of us is going to be wrong, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and Anaheim's going to the cup finals. And really? Have I, have, Nashville. I have Nashville going to the cup finals. Yeah, I... Yeah. 
it's too it, it's too easy for me to pick to pick Nashville to go to the finals. I have to be different. I picked Anaheim to go there last year. They almost made it. I gotta pick them this year. I feel well, good about Anaheim. I'm using the logic that that I learned from you in an earlier video where you talk about is it Chicago and Pittsburgh that series where the loser gets gets it in their craw. Uh, and Detroit and and Pittsburgh. Detroit. Yeah, that's right. 2008, so Pitt, 2009. Pittsburgh lost the first year, yep. and then they said, okay. We know what it's like to be in the other end of that handshake lineup. We don't want that again. Yep. And I think Nashville's going through the exact same thing. I, I think you're completely right. If they get that far, in your case. If, yeah, if they get yeah. that far. Yeah. Okay, so we'll move on to the East. Let's, let's do that. All right. So first series, Tampa Bay versus the New Jersey Devils. Who do you have moving on? This is an oddball prediction. I have Tampa winning this series, but it's going to take them seven games to do it. Tampa's funny because they've kind of been a different team in the last half of the season. Really? And, and they've not been hot the yeah. last couple they, weeks. They've New been Jersey. Losing, they've been losing strange games like against Arizona yeah. and, and Montreal and, and other teams. And Stamkos is not 100%. Yeah, we don't know when he's going to be back. They're saying hopefully Thursday, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. So. so I think you've got to give New Jersey a little more uh, credit in that series, although I still think Tampa wins. I could see an upset here. Uh, it, it wouldn't be out of the question. I still do have, like you, Tampa winning this series. Mm -hmm. I can't remember in how many games. Six, I think, or five? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. I should have wrote those down. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Boston and Toronto. This was the hardest series for me. Was it really? Yep, absolutely. It's tough because Toronto has won the season series three games to one. Mm -hmm. uh, but Boston is really, man, they're going to be tough. They're going to be so tough. They've got some young talent. Uh, they've got, you know, this could be Chara's last chance and all that. So I'm saying Boston is six. I'm not saying I want that to happen. I really do hope Toronto gets gets through this series. I don't think they get. I don't think they do. I had no idea who to choose here. Really? Like yeah. every time I thought, okay, I made a good case for Boston. Like, yeah, I'm in Boston. I think Boston is the right choice. Mm -hmm. I just went back to Toronto. But man, Toronto. And then I made a good case for Toronto. And then I was like, well, but Boston. So I, just, I really couldn't choose here. I ended up at Boston. I'm going to pick Boston to win this in my mind. Uh, I, I want Toronto to win this series. Me too. And, but Me too. It's going to be... I hope I'm wrong. It's going to be close. All I do know is that it's not 2013, the last time they played in the playoffs. Two completely different teams, different coaches, mm -hmm. different styles of play. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. But the rivalry is still there, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, next series, Washington versus Columbus. I think that's a quick out. Washington wins that early. I Ooh, think five games. Really? Yep, I do. Wow. Well, just even look at their record. Washington's 8-2-0 and in the last 10. Columbus is like 5-2. Yeah, but Washington's like a different team in the playoffs. Not this year. Not this year. Not this I, said year. That, I said that last year. <laughs> at some point, we got to be right. <laughs> okay, so now ask me who I'm picking. Who are you picking? Washington. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't think it's going to be as quick as you think, but I, I do believe Washington moves on. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> uh, Pittsburgh versus Philadelphia. This is this might be the best series of the whole playoffs. It's going to be the best series. It was the hardest one for me to pick. Uh, Pittsburgh picked up eight points out of eight in the season series between the two teams. But Philadelphia got two shootout uh, or overtime losses, actually. So they got two points out of the eight. Philadelphia, they're, they're, they're basically the same streakiness right now. They're, you know, they've both got six wins in the last ten games. Um... I think it's going to go a long, long way. It's and going to be a physical series. A physical series. I think Giroux is hitting right at the right time. I He's think, on fire. 102 points. Amazing. Do you know how many points he got last year? I don't know. 58. No kidding. Yep. So something's going on there. There's some magic happening in Philadelphia. Something's going on, Crows. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying the Flyers in that. seven. Flyers in seven. Flyers in Whoa. seven. Dang. Yep. I'm saying Pittsburgh takes this. And I, and I think that's the logical bet. Yeah. I think that's the safe bet. I that's This is my upset bet right oh. there. That's my upset. It's, it's you know, Pittsburgh's tired. Two years in a row, they've had a, they've had a hard year. Yeah. Uh, they've had injury problems. Um, it's, it's not, it wouldn't be out of the question to see them lose in the first round based on how much hockey they've played, just based on tiredness mm -hmm. and of all the hockey they've played in the past two years. So. And this year, Matt Murray's <laughs> carrying... Carrying most of the responsibility back there. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's that's a tough road when you're when you're a tandem with Flurry. It's maybe one thing. Like you know, you have mm -hmm. somebody who can step in if you have a bad night. Uh, Matt Murray doesn't really have that now. Not that you know Pittsburgh is weak, but you got Giroux on one side who's just 
playing like his pants are on fire, and you got questionable goaltending on the other side, or, or at least reliable goaltending. But, um, I mean, you still got Crosby, Malkin, and Kessel, huge playoff performers. I mean, they could make anything happen. You can never count on Pittsburgh. That's why I chose them. Like, it, and that's a safe choice. And I don't, I don't say you're wrong. Uh, all right, so <laughs> I guess we both have Tampa playing Boston. We both in the second do. round. So who do you have winning that? Tampa in seven. Ooh, I also have Tampa in seven. I See, wa- I wanted to pick Boston here. Me dude, too. Because I, I I feel like something good is happening in Boston right now. But yeah. I, I kind of feel like Tampa has to win this year. They do. Like I, I mean, not win, but they have to get far this year. Uh, last year there was so much hype for them to go all the way. They didn't even make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Um, this year, everyone knew they were going to be just deadly. They were. Yep. They have to go far. So they have to get by at least the second round. They so. need to be disciplined. Yes, they Boston do. Boston needs to keep McAvoy and Marchand and some of these chippier guys on the lowdown. Because, like, I, the referees do put their whistles away a little bit in the playoffs. They don't call as much as they do in the regular season. Mm-hmm. But it won't take much. You don't want to face Tampa's power play. Definitely not, regardless of how uh, great of a defensive team you are. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the next series, you have Washington versus Philadelphia. I do. Who do you have winning that? I have Washington winning that, and I have it going six or seven games. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be a long series, but Philadelphia, after playing Pittsburgh, will be more tired than Washington is after playing Columbus. That's, that's a, Yep, that's a good point. I agree. That's what I'm thinking. I have Washington versus Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Um, we've seen this matchup. I think like eight times in the past 10 years or something, yeah, something crazy. Like it's been nuts. And Pittsburgh's won them all. Yeah. Like it's, the, the numbers are staggering. So why would anyone p- pick Washington between those two teams? Well, I have to because uh, I said I said last year that that was my, like that was my reasoning, exact same reasoning. They have to win sometime. They've got to. And then they lost. I'm like, I'm never picking Washington <laughs> again. And, and here, here I are. am a year later here picking Washington. <laughs> <laughs> they have to do it. Like they seriously, to. they have to do it. But even just rolling dice, if you roll dice or, or put an infinite number of monkeys in front of an infinite number of typewriters, one of them's going to write War and Peace. Yes. It's got to happen eventually. You've got all this talent on the Washington Capitol. It's got to happen. It's got to happen at some point. And Ovechkin is, is he's, he's dedicated this year. He's, he's always been dedicated and stuff, but like this year, he's a, he's a different animal, in my opinion. Yeah. So, And I bet you he's ticked that he only got 49 goals yeah, this year. he's pissed. He's pissed. He's pissed. He wants to make it up. Definitely. So, um, yeah, I'm picking Washington. That's that's a decision from the heart, not a decision from the mind, I don't think. <laughs> but uh, yeah. that's what I have. So you have um, Tampa versus Washington. No, I do. No. I do. Oh, yeah, you, you have Tampa yeah. versus Washington. And I also have Tampa versus Washington. Who do you see winning that? I think this is where Washington's luck runs out. And I think Tampa wins the series in seven games. I think Washington wins the series in seven I games. hope you're right. <laughs> I hope you're right. I'd love to see it. I'm really cheering for Washington to go all the way just because of Ovechkin. I, he needs a cup. He can't go down as, as one of the greatest goal scorers of, and players of all time to not win a Stanley Cup. He has to win it. So he has to win the cup. Ovechkin, please just put the team on your back and make it happen. Yeah. Um, okay, so you have Washington versus Nashville. Uh, I have Tampa winning that series. Oh, sorry. So uh, Tampa, Tam- Tampa playing Nashville. Tampa, that's a pretty safe bet. The two top teams... Yeah, I'm really innovative, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. All right, who do you got winning that? Who's your ultimate winner this year? I think Tampa wins the Cup. Really? And I don't want this to happen. I will, out of the West, I'll be cheering for Nashville and Vegas all the way until they play each other, if they play each other. Then I'll have to make my, my, my mind up. Uh, probably I'll go with Nashville. Vegas is a great story, but I don't think it goes all the way to the Cup final. Hmm. Uh, so I love Nashville. I love what they did last year, and I want that to become the story of this year. You think they're going to go to the Stanley Cup playoff uh, finals twice and lose twice? Yeah. Can you imagine? It would oh, be terrible. It would be devastating. I don't want that to happen. I think that's what's going to happen. My heart is on Nashville winning the Cup. Mm-hmm. My money, if I was a betting man, would be on Tampa. All right. Uh, well, I have Anaheim versus Washington. You want to guess who's I'm going to pick? You're going to pick Anaheim, aren't you? I am going to pick Anaheim, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I would prefer... I'm not, I'm not even a fan of Anaheim. I don't, I don't even know why I had them going all the way last year and all the way this year. I just have a good feeling about them. I've been saying it for months to look out for Anaheim, and, like, how did they get home ice advantage? Like, seriously. That's, that's they, just Two nuts. weeks ago, they were 10 points behind San Jose, yeah. I think. Like, two what's we- going on? Two weeks ago, they were 
maybe not getting in. Yeah. Like, and now they get home ice advantage in the first round by one point. They got 101 points. I don't understand. What? What's with that? Anyways, Anaheim's my pick. That's my, they're my logical pick to win the Stanley Cup. Will it happen? Probably not, but uh, that's what I predicted. Again, I don't think I'm going to be right. What mm-hmm. I'd like to do now is say what I would like to happen if my heart was choosing. I like it. Is that okay? Yep. So round number one, Nashville versus Colorado. My heart chooses Nashville. Um, my heart chooses Winnipeg. My heart chooses Vegas. And my heart chooses San Jose. So that means Nashville versus Winnipeg. I choose Winnipeg. Vegas versus San Jose, I choose San Jose. Winnipeg versus San Jose, I choose San Jose. And in the East, Tampa versus New Jersey, I choose Tampa. Boston versus Toronto, I choose Toronto. Washington versus Columbus, I choose Washington. And I choose Philadelphia. Um, in the Toronto, New Jersey series, I choose Toronto. Weird, hmm. for, weird for a Canadians fan to say that he's choosing with his heart that he wants the tr- Toronto Maple Leafs to go to the conference finals, but yeah. And between Washington and Philadelphia, I choose Washington. Between Toronto and Washington, I choose Washington. That means Washington versus San Jose. And uh, San Jose would be my winner. Now, I thought I heard you say that you picked Tampa in that first series with your heart, but you actually picked the devil. Oh, sorry. So If I said Tampa, I meant to say New Jersey. And, and if I heard it wrong, I apologize. But I think that's what you okay. said. Sorry. Because I was going to disagree with you on that one point. But now that I see that you picked what I would have picked. Yeah, sorry. I want Toronto to win the Boston series. I want New Jersey to win the Tampa me series. Too. I want Washington to win that series. Good, me too. I want Philly to win over Pittsburgh. In the West, I don't care about Anaheim and San Jose. I don't care about either one really? of them. Really? Yeah. I, I just don't care. It's California. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I really don't care. I, I'm not, I don't hate either team. I don't love either team. And to me, it's just a blur. A blur of uh, l- staying up late that I can't do. I guess. So, so in the conference finals, you probably want to see Nashville versus Vegas. Nashville versus Vegas, and it's a shame that they're playing each other at that at that phase in it all. Mm. But uh, yeah, Nashville versus Vegas. I think Nashville has to win that, uh, and then they go to the finals. And I'm still then it's Nashville versus Toronto all the way, I guess. Right? Or if if it was my heart, it was your heart? Uh, Toronto would be pay, playing. Um, uh, Toronto would be playing New well, Jersey. Yeah. So I guess I didn't go to the rest of the bracket there. Toronto would play New Jersey. I'd be pulling for Toronto. So then Washington would play Philadelphia. I'd be pulling for Washington. So then it's Washington playing Toronto. I'd pull for Toronto. I, I'm pulling for Toronto. You want Toronto to go to the Stanley Cup playoffs? But Or finals? <laughs> yeah, but my second favorite team out of the East is the New Jersey Devils. Really? If the New Jersey Devils can get by Tampa Bay and get by the opponent in the other bracket, then I want them to go all the way. I think that Taylor Hall story... Yeah. Having seen them for Hockeyville mm-hmm. at the beginning of the year, seeing them up close, uh, Zaka, these guys that are just yeah. doing amazing things, I would love to see New Jersey go deep. So you would have Nashville, Toronto as your final? Probably, yeah. And who would you want to win there? I want P.K. Subban to bring the cup to Toronto, not the <laughs> Maple Leafs to bring the cup to Toronto. <laughs> I, I'd be pulling for Nashville. So later. what about Nashville, if New Jersey? It, it was Nashville versus New Jersey. I think I still pull for Nashville. Yeah. yeah. But I'd be content. I just want good <laughs> hockey and good stories. And hmm. we talked about this last playoff season. Um, for me, once my team is out, I don't have another team. Like it's Montreal or it's nobody as far as who I love. Mm-hmm. The rest of the stuff all, all is who has the best story. Who has a story that I can attach myself to that's sentimental or revenge or like when Ray Burke was traded to to Colorado because he needed a cup and he got a cup. I mean, that's a story you can just latch right on to and fall in love with. So that's what I want. I want good stories. Don't let me down. It's it's funny when your team doesn't make the playoffs because it makes the playoffs so much more enjoyable. Oh, yeah. Like, I have no stress. There's no, yeah, there's no stress no here. Stress. It's I, amazing. I don't know who's going to win the cup, but I know who's not going to win the yeah. cup. It's almost a relief when your team misses the playoffs. You know, in it, a way. it kind of is. Yeah. It's like... Like, it's disappointing, obviously. Yeah. But it's a relief because you don't have to be stressed. <clears throat> and uh, and I, I was yeah. so stressed, even as a kid. When Montreal was the best team on the planet, I was watching every pass of the puck. And every time the puck was in the Montreal zone... I was like, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> and every time the puck was out of the blue line, like, thank God. And this is when Montreal was beating everybody. But I was still... Ev- yeah, this is in the late 70s when they won yeah, four cups in a row. I was hanging yeah. on every play <laughs> because it was so important mm. and so stressful. And now... <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Uh, the last thing in this video I need to discuss is we are having a, a bracket challenge on NHL.com. Um, I don't remember the link off the top of my head, but uh, I will put the link to it above me here, and I'll also put the password. And I think the password is Brent and then Goat. No kidding. I think that's the password. I didn't make it. Mark from our Discord made it. If you want to join our Discord, there's actually prizes for that uh, bracket on there. And you need to be part of Discord to win the prize. So if you'd like to contribute just for fun, uh, feel free to join. But if you'd like to win a prize, uh, you'd have to join our Discord. Go into our fantasy uh, channel and uh, see the, look at the pinned comment and see the details there. So, cool. yeah. Uh, tell me below in the comments if you want to list out all your predictions. Uh, it would take you a while, but... I'll definitely read them, check them out. Uh, feel free to join our Discord and post a picture of your predictions as well. Uh, lots of people in, are doing that in there. So, anything else to add? No, I'm good. good I go. think I'm looking forward to the playoffs for the first time in a while because, like you say, yeah. no stress. No stress, all fun. That Philadelphia-Pittsburgh series is going to be great. Boston-Toronto is going to be great. Yeah. Uh, I'm really, really hyped for those. The Vegas-LA yeah. one's going to be pretty good too. Yeah. Uh, just that... The home arena in Vegas is going to be oh, deafening. It's going to be yeah. same with in Winnipeg too. That that arena is so loud. So yeah, yeah it's going to be great to see. Yeah. We're going to film start our individual playoff series videos. We're going to start to film them right after this video. So they will be releasing after this video. Um, I'm going to hold off on the seasonal report card videos of teams that didn't make the playoffs for now, just until I get get these playoff series preview videos out, and then I'll go back to the report card videos. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are new to this channel, hope you can hit the subscribe button. If you liked this video, please hit the like button down below, and we will see you in the next episode. Adios.